Okay, so here we're told to draw a shape with both rotational and reflection symmetry. So there are so many options here. Uh, I'm going to choose to set up a square because that has both rotational and reflectional symmetry. All right, and of course there are many options here. I'm just going to demonstrate one. With the square, of course, if you fold it vertically, right across, I'm sorry, if you fold it across a vertical line of symmetry, on both sides, right, you get a mirror image. So you can fold it vertically. You can fold it along the horizontal line of symmetry as well. You could also fold it along its diagonal right here and right here as well. So you have right one, two, three, four lines of reflection symmetry. Excuse me to work with. Also, um, because you can think of the square as having these four vertices, right? And in a sense, if you think of the square, it can be cut up into four equal pieces, one and two and three and four, right? Every 90 degrees that we rotate this shape, right, we'll get the square as a repeat. And um, if, we, if we don't get that, what you can do is take the full rotation right, of a shape, 360, and divide it by four, because this shape in many senses repeats itself in four parts. So you can think of that, divide 360 by 4, and you get 90 degrees, which means every 90 degrees you turn this shape and it will look identical. And if that's not helping, think of the fact that a square is made up of four equal sides, right? which means that the full rotation of the circle is cut into four equal lengths, or four equal angles right, of 90 degrees each. So you know the square will then have rotational symmetry of 90 degrees. All right, hope that helped.